Filipinos are made to believe that Ferdinand E. Marcos and Nino Yaquino were really art nemesis, rivals, and even foes. But we can see a different view on what's really happening during those times. Marcos first met Nino Aquino at the University of the Philippines when they were neophytes in 1950. Nino was a professional absentee from classes, while Marcos was working with Lusteveco, then so he had an open expense account so he would gas up Nino's car. The two of them were the most hazed neophytes in their batch. Their initiation lasted one year and one semester. They both joined Upsilon because it was the only fraternity in UP. To be an Upsilonian, you must be good. Your father asked this, sabi, Brad, bakit mo naman ako kinukulong? Bakit mo naman ako linagay sa Fort Bonifacio? Ang tanong naman ng tatay ko sa'yo, Brad, kung ikaw nasa posisyon ko, hindi mo ba gagawin? Ayun, ah. nagtawanan silang dalawa. Nina and Ferdinand Marcos were more than friends. When Nina was in detention, he and Ferdinand Marcos would speak with scrambler telephones. During Ferdinand Marcos' state visit to the United States in 1982, the two of them talked for an hour about good times. And then he needed a heart bypass operation in 1980. And Marcos allowed him to leave the country. My source is Cardinal Singh. And the conclusion was if they operate on him, it would be fatal. He's no longer responding to medication and he will have to be hooked up to the dialysis machine now more often. He's a man now, terminal, he knows he's going, that's the background that I'm coming in. I will try to hold out for a meeting with Marcos. I am almost confident that I can talk to him and, and tell him something. Ferdinand Marcos was actually considering so Ninoy as Marcos his successor. He admired Ninoy for being a courageous and vigorous fighter. They were on the same wavelength. Ferdinand Marcos left Lawag on August 20 so he could be in Manila in time to meet Ninoy at the airport. He didn't think much of it then but his plane was grounded and the second plane was prevented from taking off. When he was driving to the international airport, his car was delayed because of a rally in front of Baclaran Church. He arrived at the airport 12 minutes after Ninoy was shot. Someone met him and said, Ninoy is gone. He cried like a baby when he found out what happened. He said that if he arrived on time, he could have escorted Ninoy from the aircraft and he would not have been shot. Or he would have been shot along with him on the stairs. <laughs> 